New Zealand's foreign ministry says a key undersea cable that was destroyed in the volcanic eruption in Tonga may take at least four weeks to be repaired. Bruce Howe, a research professor at Ocean and Resources Engineering of the University of Hawaii, tells us the implications of this. My understanding is the Tonga cable was broken about 37 kilometers to the west of the main island of Tonga in the direction of Fiji. This means that the only communication is via satellite with very, very little capacity and is very slow. This frustrates the relief effort, even the coordination for repairing the cable itself, and many of the aspects of life we take for granted now, access to internet and finances and, and business. It's a major, major impact on, on the entire economy. While the cable industry has 170 years of experience uh, repairing cables, it simply takes time to mobilize a ship, transit to the location, affect the repair, complete the operation. And this is difficult in this part of the world because there are relatively few ships and it's about 4,000 kilometers from Tonga to Papua New Guinea where, where the closest cable repair ship is right now. The cable is, is about the size of a garden hose like this. Um, and so it's, it's quite delicate um, in some ways, uh, in other ways strong, obviously. The ship goes out and drags for it with a special hook that cuts the cable and brings up that one end. And then they have to go and drag for the, the other end also. Uh, it can take uh, one to several days to do this. More volcanic activity clearly is, is possible and, and there's just a lack of data. And, and so I would imagine that uh, as, as a ship is transiting to do the repair, there will be sensors uh, put in place to monitor uh, seismically, typically, uh, activity um, on the main island, at least, um, to inf provide data to inform the ship um, if, if there's any risk of, of a eruption during the repair process.